the only way to really understand change is to have a clear idea of what system you're looking into. Because different systems change differently and they show different patterns of change. And when you combine all these systems together, it becomes very interesting. So for the purpose today, I really believe that there are uh, two specific systems that we really want to look at. The top one here is kind of the changes that we typically see on the human scale, in social scales, and in nature. There's a tendency that, you know, we have, it's a cyclical trend, an ebb and flow. You know, you go a little bit too much that way, and there's like a midpoint that pulls you back, and then you kind of drift off a little bit this way, and then you go back again. It's, it's a natural rhythm. It's, it's everywhere. <laughs> we look at it. Even economic cycles, even long economic cycles, cycles. There's been several theoreticians who have operated with these, these waves, these, uh, these, these archetypes that tend to repeat themselves. Uh, the Russian economist Nikolai Kondratiev was talking about the long ways in the economy. Uh, where you have uh, different paradigms of industrial revolutions. Uh, another one of my favorites, uh, her name is uh, Carlotta Perez, and she's talking about uh, in industrial technology, um, techno, techno industrial paradigms, where one way of producing things and, and allocating money tends to kind of flow institutionally and technologically together until it doesn't work anymore. Um, I know Strauss and Howe. Uh, were mentioned earlier today. Those are some of my sort of main theoreticians uh, into how I view uh, generational change. And if you really look at it, there's been like an eight-year cycle since, you know, the last time we had a big recession, since you had this, you know, very polarized political landscape. We have, you know, there's a huge volatility in the economic environment worldwide. We're even wondering if we're going to go into a new global recession again. So, so that is uh, the typical cyclical, you know, uh, pattern that we'll see. But then we're dealing with technological change uh, and some other changes um, that are on a completely different scale. Uh, this is Ray Kurzweil down here. Some of you might be familiar with him. And some of you might have heard about Moore's Law. Moore's Law was... Um, uh, concocted back in the Stone Age of the computer at Intel from Gordon Moore. And what he realized was that the, the number of transistors that you can fit on an integrated circuit would double about every, uh, every other year 